Hey friends, I'm joining you from a boat today, so might be some background noises. It's a little windy out, so forgive that. Um, I wanted to talk today about a best practice that I've found for collaborating, which is going on what I call collaboration dates. And this is sort of cross-applying common sense wisdom from dating and relationships to collaborating with people in a sort of professional or uh, even play context. Um, I do a lot of collaborations these days. They're a really essential part of my work. And this is a best practice that's helped me to enjoy that more and more and find collaborators that I work really well with and can do really cool things with. So by and large, if you're dating someone in a romantic setting, you, uh, if, that's, if that's your goal to date someone, find a partner, you want to go on some dates and get to know people and see what it, they're like, learn who they are, ask them questions, give them an opportunity to learn who you are, tell them about yourself, and uh, sort of feel out together what it's like to be together, and then eventually sort of start having conversations of, hey, what do we want to happen here? Do we want to be in a romantic relationship? What kind? Um, is it serious? Is it not serious? All these kinds of questions, they come up, and dates are a really good way to get to know someone, spend time with them, and um, we want to sort of do that, but with collaborations. Uh, if you're collaborating, a lot of times there's sort of a failure mode where, you know, you meet someone and you're excited about them. You're like, yeah, this person's really cool. And, you know, they like you, you like them. And you sort of, um, there's a, there's a tendency to go straight to like, oh, let's just do the thing together. And, um, you know, I could imagine, for example, this happening with like founding a startup, for example, you're, you know, you've got this idea that you think is really cool and you just need to find a co-founder that complements your skills and that you can do it with. And, um, that's fine that you have that desire to make that thing and that you want to do it with someone and you need to find someone. But uh, that in, in, if you sort of transpose it to the setting of romantic relationships, that's kind of like, oh, I'm just going to get married to someone immediately. And that's by and large, depends who you find, but like might be a bad idea. Uh, maybe you do find someone really cool who does have skills that complements you, um, but maybe they're a uh, better fit for like a slightly different role or a different project, or maybe you just don't work well together after all. Um, you know, first appearances might be deceiving or something like that. So the idea of collaboration dates is having a low pressure way to uh, get to know each other and see what it's like to collaborate together without um, needing to make like long-term commitments or take on huge projects together right away. If you're dating, Typically, a first date is something really low stakes, kind of casual, and you're just spending time together doing something that's not that important as an excuse to get to know each other and ask each other questions and see what it feels like to be together, see if it even feels good to be together. Um, it's like a coffee date or, you know, going for a hike, going to a museum. Those are like pretty classic first dates because, you know, uh, if you're not going for the coffee shop or, you know, for that specific hike or, um, you know, for that museum, even though those things might be nice, ideally it's fun, it's all kind of an excuse to spend time with together and get to know each other. And so in the same way, uh, with this idea of collaboration dates, you want to go on like a collaboration first date that's pretty small, pretty short, you know, something like that you can do together in a day or two days or a week at most, and that's very low stakes. It's not something you're going to make money off of or you know, that anyone's going to put pressure on you to do well. It's just like, hey, let's try this out and see what it feels like. And ideally, it's related to the kind of work you two think you might want to do together. It's related to skills that you actually have, but um, sort of a small, well-scoped, short project that's low pressure. That's the perfect thing for a collaboration first date. And then at the end of it, you can say, hey, how was that for you? Was that fun? Did you like it? What did you like? What didn't you like? Uh, what did we learn together and uh, kind of compare notes and then if it felt good for both of you if you liked it odds are that experience contains in it the seeds for a second date we're like oh well what if we tried this and then you can go on sort of a, a medium date where it's like a little bigger and maybe there's uh, slightly higher stakes and maybe it's a little longer something that takes a month or two to do for example 
Um, again, you're not going straight to founding a company or some other huge long-term project like that. It's something still medium scoped, equivalent to a kind of second date. You know, maybe you'll go out to dinner together or, um, you know, uh, something like that. That's a little bit higher, you know, higher stakes, a little bit more intimate, whatever. It's, it's the same thing with collaboration dates. And you can do as many of these kinds of collaboration dates as you want, kind of building them up over time. And you just keep talking to each other. Hey, what was that like? What did we learn? What did we like? What didn't we like? Um, having those conversations and building up that relationship over time where you get to know each other better and better. You learn what each other's strengths and growth edges are. And you, know, you learn how you work well together. Um, you learn how you deal with uh, like conflict or disagreements or um, problems that come up. You learn like, oh, is there a way we can do this smoothly and effectively? Or uh, is it frustrating and difficult? Um, maybe you find that, um, you know, what you initially thought there's like a different better project you could do together and so there's sort of space to learn and grow there's also space to say hey no this isn't really working out for me if either person or both people feel that way it's it's no pressure I, in that case you still learn something right and um that's still a really valuable experience that you you know going through that project you learned about that person and the thing you did and that's a valuable experience even if you don't end up having this sort of like long-term collaboration you might have been hoping for um, and it's always fine to go for that in the end to like ask someone to be your co-founder or do a long-term project on the order of years or you know with really big resources involved but I find that this frame of collaboration dates really helps to um, take the pressure off you're just getting to know each other and then you can kind of build up that relationship over time so that um, ideally when you do feel called to do a big project you have one or more or even a pool of collaborators you're like yeah I know these people and uh, I know how I work with them and what they're really good at and how we work well together and then you can kind of do these bigger scale projects um, that you know you can collaborate on together and you know more and more uh, that's something that I feel called to is just uh, almost increasing my capacity for over time of how many projects I can do and how big they are. Uh, I want to be increasing my uh, like skill level over time so that I'm taking on bigger and bigger projects and really taking the time to build these relationships at the beginning um, without pressure has been instrumental for over time expanding my capacity and the capacity of the collaborators I work with to take on bigger and bigger projects. So. I hope that this idea of collaboration dates helps you, and I would love to know what you think. Okay, thanks friends.